Hey guys, another day, another mother fudging video. Sorry, sorry, just watched some of his videos. Had to say it. Uh, let's see. Uh, this is a game of Battlefield Bad Company 2 Vietnam on Vantage Point? Maybe? Squad Deathmatch, I uh, had some time to play the other day and I saw Mr. Colin and Mr. J. Kaiser were on playing and they were kind enough to let me come uh, along with them. They let a noob on their team and. This video is chopped up a little bit. I think it was like 13 minutes long. We spawned in and we were literally the only squad in the game. So, go go matchmaking for Vietnam and empty lobbies. So, after a few minutes of just waiting, we finally saw people slowly starting to come in. And it was a gradual build until it turned uh, semi interesting. And then we moved on from there. So, yeah, it's a little dicey here, but that's what about what you can expect for these longer battlefield videos. You guys know that. And, uh, yeah, uh, oh, well, no, I haven't done this for a while, but I know the primary base of my channel is rooted in the Bad Company 2 community, and, uh, if you guys aren't familiar with Colin and Jay, you probably are, but if those of you aren't and you want more Bad Company 2 footage, their links will be in the description if you want to go check out their channels. They post, uh, frequent and high-quality uh, Battlefield stuff, they are much better players than I am at Battlefield. So if you want to go check them out for more Battlefield feeds and uh, videos, I know you guys always thirst for more, so uh, you can go uh, satisfy your appetites. Uh, there's really not too much to talk about for this actual game. I mean, it was slow paced. I'm using the AK-47 of all things. Uh, good gun, fun to use, but I think it's a little overused. I mean, it's not overpowered, it's just... Probably one of the, yeah, probably, you got what, three assault rifles, one's pretty good, one's okay, and one kind of sucks, so take your pick, really, I mean, meh, I'm trying to get some more uh, flamethrower stuff, because I, I want to do a briefing room episode on the flamethrower, I think that should be fun, uh, what else, uh, I, if you guys may have uh, noticed, I uploaded a video today that was, uh, a World of Warcraft daily quest, and that was at full resolution, 1080p that I recorded it in, and uh, my fraps issue seems to be working. Big thanks to Mr. Elder Abyss. That guy basically saved my PC gaming stuff for the projects I had working on with all those new games I got. So if you want to go uh, say thanks to him, uh, I will leave his uh, link in the description. He really, really came through yesterday to help out with a tip that I had completely missed on. And, uh, yeah, he saved my PC gaming projects, really. He's another guy that posts uh, frequent Battlefield stuff and some occasional Black Ops and stuff like that, so... I think I did a whole video once, uh, just, uh... telling people how awesome Mr. Elder Abyss is, so if you want to go check him out, that's cool, too. Uh, wow, this is kind of turning into a plug video. I didn't really mean it that way, but, uh, yeah, it's nothing I don't mean, though. They're, uh, great channels that... Uh, become well, pillars, established pillars, and up-and-coming pillars of the Battlefield community with Elder Abyss's new channel. I think he recently hit 800 subscribers, and uh, he's taken off like a wildfire lately. Uh, I found his stuff when he was pretty new, and uh, it's just been awesome to watch him grow as people discovered the high-quality content he provides. Something very awesome. Now, I have another. Well, I, it's it's a big project. It's something I'm very excited about, but it's not my project. Does that make sense? Uh, Athena and her best friend have a project coming that uh, I've kind of hinted about it before. And uh, that should, in the next day or so, it depends how quickly things move, but in the next day or so, maybe two days, three, I will have a uh, big reveal for Athena's project. No, she's not going to be posting gameplay, but uh, she is wanting to get involved in the gaming community. And I think some of you guys will at least like it. Uh, I am not directly involved in it. Like I, I've helped with some editing and stuff like that and some technical stuff, but... Uh, this is Athena stepping out on her own to uh, do some new stuff. So, uh, yeah, good stuff. Uh, I've been having a blast on PC gaming lately. Uh, good. I just had the uh, almost an hour and a half on, or so session of Team Fortress 2 with Pink Eye Panda. Reloading. I have fallen in love with the Pyro class. Throw away the spy worries and hassles, and holy hell, can a Pyro be effective when uh, playing the objective? Good times, good times, good times. Ah, 
What else do you want to talk about, really? I don't know. Hmm. Oh, hello. Sorry, got distracted. You know me. Uh, oh, there's a video project I want to put together because I kind of feel a little ashamed of how I answered the one question and I got asked in the dual commentary of what games can we see on my channel coming forward in this year. And when I was put on the spot like that, my mind went completely blank when it came to what I want to play this year and what I want to post and share with you guys. So uh, I think uh, I'm going to slowly get some footage and stuff from like trailers and previews and whatnot. And put together something for you guys to check out and see. And I'll go through my maybe top five or top ten games I'm looking forward to this year. Probably more like a top five. I might be able to get ten, but we'll see. Top seven! Nice, odd, not so round number of seven games. No. But yeah, I'll probably do something like that. We got some more Battlefield stuff. We got Black Ops. And I got so much Black Ops, we don't even know where to start with some of that stuff. You guys did seem to like that bit of a high energy video I did yesterday. I tried to make it interesting, kind of exciting. I thought it was a uh, pretty fun game to have played because it came so uh, close from a uh, come from behind victory there, like th at the end. And figured I'd try a higher energy tempo towards the commentary. You guys seem to have responded as really liking that, so that is something I'll try to implore going forward. Uh I want to say thanks to the guys that uh, enjoyed my Tumblr blog post. That was uh, pretty cool to see all the responses I got from that. I'm glad you guys liked that. Other than that, I don't really have too much to talk about here. Again, this gameplay, I don't know, there's really nothing to talk about. I mean, just an AK-47 doing a bit of work with some beasts and legends like Colin and Jay, really. Uh, I do not know the other gentleman I do not think that we were playing with, but... Uh, in the gaming session, he was pretty cool. I don't know if he has a YouTube channel. I don't think so. I don't, I don't know. First time I met him, I think, but he's pretty cool. He's fun to play with, nice and laid back, which is exactly how I prefer it. Uh, wow. I really should have planned this out better, but uh, I just wanted to give you guys some Battlefield footage and have a little chat session with you guys. What's been going on with you guys lately? What have you guys been up to? What have you guys been playing? Are you guys still uh, feasting on Vietnam? I saw Hastings got released. I played a couple maps of that. Uh, still trying to work out the kinks of how to play that one the best. Still struggling with the uh, empty lobbies. People say it's just me, but I don't know. The more I play, the more the lobbies are like half full. A bit frustrating, but every now and then you find a good one that stays full. For, full stays full. Stays full for two or three games. And that's the scoreboard. Did not get the ace. We did, however, win. So, we'll take it, I guess. 